Okay, in this lesson, we're just gonna simply multiply decimals. So write down everything you know about multiplying decimals and come back to me. Okay, so hopefully you said that you line up the numbers to the right. Do not, do not, do not line up the decimals. I can't stress that enough. Do not, do not line up the decimals. Line up the numbers to the right. Multiply like normal. Find the product. Count how many places there is after the decimal. Start on the right and move the decimal that many places. And again, remember that we're doing the shortcut of moving the decimal, but really what's happening, the numbers are the ones that are shifting, right? The numbers are shifting. We're just using the decimal as a shortcut to move the numbers over, all right? All right, so 2.6 times 7 tenths. So again, don't let this throw you off. We just have whole numbers here, but it's still the same thing. Ignore the decimals, multiply like normal, and then count the decimal places, and then move, shift the numbers over by shifting the decimal. All right, so let's do this one together. Six times seven, what's six times seven? 42, so I put my two down, carry my four. Seven times two is 14, plus four is 18. And then I'm just gonna count my decimal places. How many places do I have after my decimal? One, two. That means I'm gonna add my decimal, shift it one, two. So my answer is one and 82 hundredths. Notice that my answer got smaller than what I originally had. Why? Because I'm taking a part of a part. Remember that? We're taking a part of a part. Okay, let's do the next one together. So write it down, write it and do it with me. Eight and 23 hundredths times six tenths. I'm just lining up my numbers. I'm ignoring all, I'm ignoring the decimals. I'm gonna multiply like normal. Six times three is 18. Put my eight down, carry the one. Six times two is 12, plus one is 13. Carry my one. Six times eight is 48, plus one is 49. So just like normal. So now the only thing I have to do is count how many decimal places I have. After the decimal, one, two three places. I'm going to add my decimal, one, two, three. So my answer becomes four and 938 thousands, right? My decimal should be right there. Make it a little bit bigger. Four and, four and 938 thousands. Notice that my answer got smaller because I'm multiplying a whole number times a decimal, which essence is a fraction. You're taking a part of it, so it's going to get smaller, all right? All right, you try some. Seven and 21 hundredths times three tenths and 8.7 times 53 hundredths. And remember, ignore the decimals right now and just multiply and then count your decimal places. How many places there is after the decimal and then shift your decimal to shift your numbers. All right, and then come back to me. All right, so hopefully you got two and 163 thousandths, right? Because three times one is three, two times three is six, seven times three is 21. How many places? One, two, three. Decim put my decimal place, move it to three, one, two, three, okay? Um, 87 times 53, so just multiplying two digits times two digits. I'll do it on the side over here. Um, I'm just gonna do it the shortcut method. If you did the place value sections, that's fine too. You should get the same answer. So 8.7, oh, I'm gonna make it a little bit higher so I have room. Okay, so I just wrote it to the side over here. I lined up my numbers, seven times three is 21. Put my one down, carry my two. Eight times three is 24, plus two is 26. Done with that, done with that. Put a zero there, five times seven is 35. Put my five down, carry my three. Eight times five is 40, plus three is 43. Then I just add like normal, just regular multiplication. One plus zero is one. Six plus five is 11, carry my one. Three and three makes six, and then four, and then I'm gonna count my place values. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, and 611 thousands. All right, try some more. One and four hundredths times four tenths and eight 
and 6 tenths times 3 and 9 tenths. Go ahead and try those and then come back to me to see if you're right. Okay, so hopefully you got 416 thousandths for this one because 4 times 4 is 16. I carried my 1. 4 times 0 is 0 plus my 1 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. 416 thousandths. 1, 2, 3 place values, 1, 2, 3 place values. And then 8.6 times 3.9, I got 33 and 54 hundredths. Let me do it up here just to show you. 8.6 times 3.9. Okay. 6 times 9 is 54. Put my 4 down, carry my 5. 9 times 8 is 72, plus 5 is 77. Done with that, done with that, done with my ones place. Six times three is 18, carry my one. Eight times three is 24, plus one is 25. Then add, four plus zero is four. Seven plus eight is 15, carry my one. Seven plus one is eight, plus five is 13, carry my one, three. Oh, make that into a four. How many place values? One, two, one, two, 33, and 54 hundredths. Okay, so write down what you learned today. Proof of learning by solving a problem. Do it um, a decimal times a decimal, and then a reflection or a question that you may have. All right, have a great day.